guys welcome back to another video so for today's video i am going to be doing the first video in my exclusively pumping series so i decided to start off this video with a q a so i asked you guys over on instagram to leave me any questions that you guys had about exclusively pumping so if you guys are new to my channel hi my name is ali and i am a flight attendant i am also the mommy of three little boys i have a seven year old a one and a half year old and i have a three month old baby so i have exclusively pumped for my last two babies we've had latching issues with i've actually had latching issues with all three of my babies but with these last two i actually wanted to give breastfeeding a fair try and when i couldn't get them to nurse i decided that i would just exclusively pump and pump into a bottle and then feed my baby with the bottle so i am working on a video showing you guys a full day in the life of me exclusively pumping and I'll get into how much I pump and my pumping schedule and all of that so if that was one of your questions just stay tuned I will get into making a video really really soon for you guys and I hope that you guys enjoy this video leave me any other questions that you guys have in the comments below about exclusively pumping I do want to give a quick disclaimer I am not a lactation consultant I am not a medical professional if you guys have any questions or any issues with breastfeeding please contact a lactation consultant. They will be the best person to give you any advice. So let's get into this video. Okay, so the first question is, do you find pumping easier this time around? I actually find it a little bit more challenging, to be honest with you. I'm getting a little bit lazy when it comes to it. I got way too comfortable with my supply and I just stopped pumping as often as I should have and I definitely saw that affect my supply. Also, if you guys hear any big kid baby toys in the background, my kids are like right outside with my husband in the living room and um, they're just playing. So, but uh, yeah, I do find it a little bit more challenging because I did get lazy and then also because I do have a toddler this time around and so sometimes my toddler's throwing a tantrum and you know my baby's crying or like so many different things are going on at the same time so it it has become a little bit more challenging luckily with quarantine i don't have anything else to do or worry about so um uh, i it's i'm kind of forced to actually figure it out do you think the willow or portable pumps are worth the investment yes 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 i have actually tried both portable pumps the lv and the willow and so if you guys want i can do a full review on the lv uh which is actually what i prefer um i wasn't too fond of the willow to be honest with you but i will say it is worth the investment especially if you're an exclusive pumper because when you're out and about and let's say you're going to need to pump while you're out running errands and stuff it's really convenient to just have that portable pump in your diaper bag i went to disneyland uh i think it was 2018 and i was able to just discreetly put the pump inside my shirt and i was walking around disneyland pumping which was amazing so it's definitely worth the investment i i don't know if it would be worth it if i nursed my son i think it, it it's definitely worth it if you're an exclusive pumper that way you're not carrying around your big pump like whether it's a spectra pump or anything like that how do you feed leo daily and build a freezer stash at the same time so i'm not worried about building a freezer stash anymore in the beginning i was because i was just so stressed out about not having a freezer stash i decided to dig into my freezer stash because i wanted to give leo some of that colostrum that i had that was frozen and some of you know that very early milk that you have that has a lot of nutrients so i figured i would give that to him now that he's developing and i you know i don't know i just didn't rotate i don't know why i didn't rotate i should have just given him that and frozen whatever it is that i was making but i don't know why i didn't do it but it's okay i'm not stressed out about it because i'm making enough for him daily so i pump every three hours and i always make sure to have at least one or two bottles uh like I try to be ahead by one or two bottles so have one stored in the fridge or out ready for him to drink while I'm pumping does that make sense I think it'll make more sense when I show you guys the day in the life video so you guys know what I'm talking about okay and one that I see a lot is uh why did you choose to exclusively pump instead of breastfeed so it's still breastfeeding I know a lot of people don't count it as breastfeeding and I know that's not what the question means but I know a lot of people don't take 
exclusively pumping as breastfeeding and i decided to exclusively pump because it's what i did with Le with luca my second son luca and i do have a video explaining why i decided to exclusively uh, pump with luca so i'll go ahead and link that for you guys so you guys can go check that out but i decided to do it with leo because it's just what i know it's just so easy for me to pump and i know for a lot of people it seems like it's a lot harder because it's such a commitment to sit down and pump every two to three hours every single day so it's just what worked for me i know what to do i i feel like I have a little bit more freedom because I can, if I just need to pump, I can, you know, just use a portable pump or I can sleep through the night and take turns with my husband and I have bottles ready for him to just feed him. I can go to the store really quickly and I don't have to worry about bottles and we you know whether the baby's going to have a bottle or not. And I don't know, it's just, it's, it's worked for me. It's a lot less stressful than uh, nursing honestly in my opinion that's just from my experience i did have a few latch issues with leo actually uh and i just decided not to even worry about it and stress out about it and i just went straight into pumping as soon that as soon as i saw that it was going to be an issue this time around though i will say i felt pressured by the lactation consultant and some of the nurses in the hospital to nurse they almost seemed a little bit like what confused as to why i wanted to pump instead and i mean they did great when it came to trying to teach me how to get the baby to latch however i did feel a little bit discouraged and i feel like a lot of people try to discourage me from pumping they're like why why don't you just get the baby on the breast or why don't you just try like you know why are you giving up so easily and you know i feel like it's at this point it's a choice and i mean now leo latches just fine if anything i latch him once or twice a day he does like to comfort nurse so i i do that and you know it's just what what's worked for us i i, I go based on what he wants like i i go by his cues if i see that he's looking for the breast i latch him but then i also pump right after to make sure that i always have milk and i feel like it was also very helpful for me when i went back to work being a flight attendant i'm always on the go and so i was able to, i managed to do it at work as well i managed to pump on the plane on at the hotel in the airport and stuff so hopefully i can do a day in the life while i'm exclusively pumping if um, i'm still pumping by the time i have to go back to work but we'll see i have a lot of questions asking if it hurts or if um it becomes sensitive and painful and it you know i would say it's a lot in in my case it was a lot less painful than nursing because i don't know if it was just my babies but they had a very strong like sucking reflex so they would suck really really hard and it would hurt a lot and with pumping i don't feel that pain it also depends on the pump that you use the flange that you use and all that take that into consideration if your flange is way too small it's going to hurt i have used very small flanges and oh man it hurts a lot it's almost like you're getting like a rug burn you know so it's it's really painful if you don't have the right accessory can you please do a video of a day in the life in pumping like your schedule thank you yes that is coming i promise you guys so another question is how many times do you pump and how long are your stretches so i try to go be three to four hours in between pumping sessions sometimes i do two so it just depends on what my goal is for the day so if i'm trying to build my supply i try to pump every two hours on a normal day i do three hours if i have a lot going on maybe four hours and i don't really see it affecting my supply if i go more than four hours and if i do it more than two days in a row i'm screwed and i have to really try and build my supply back up and i aim for between five and eight times a day because that's how i was told um that that's how often a baby would nurse if i was nursing him how do you keep up with it i only pumped three to four months and i couldn't do it anymore honestly i take it day by day if I see at some point that it's going to affect my mental health, I am prone to postpartum depression. I had severe postpartum depression with my second and I had uh, just, you know, postpartum depression with my first as well. 
So if I see that it's ever going to trigger my postpartum depression, I will probably have to make the decision to quit. Uh, but I don't honestly put a lot of pressure on myself. If I if I make it to eight months like I did with my, with my second, then I make it. If I don't, then I don't. Did you have an oversupply right away or did it take a while? Honestly, I didn't even know I had an oversupply until after I stopped breastfeeding because I thought that that was just normal. That's just my body making what my son needed. I didn't know that anything extra was an oversupply. And both times I've had that and it just pretty much happened right away. How soon after having the baby should you start pumping? Okay, I would talk to a lactation consultant because, and then go from there. I have been I have heard that you shouldn't pump right away that you should wait like two weeks if you're if you're going to pump because uh, it might cause nipple confusion or I don't know exactly what I've heard mixed things about when to start pumping honestly if you know you're gonna start pumping as soon as you know you give birth ask for a pump right away let your doctor know let your nurses know that you just are going to have that you're just going to want to pump and it all depends on your situation so definitely ask a lactation consultant how do you manage pumping all the time with the toddler and newborn it's a stressful yes it is uh but what i do is i you know sit luca down in a high chair and like if i'm alone if i'm alone and my husband's not around i put my my toddler in a high chair put on a movie whatever he likes to watch and you know just let him be with the snack and he usually it usually works he leaves me alone and i'm able to pump for the 30 minutes and then uh, i'll have leo in his little bouncy chair and there have been times when honestly i've had to just like have him in between the pump and I don't like doing that because he he's very you know active and he moves around a lot and sometimes he kicks off the pump so sometimes i'll just put him in a swing i'll figure it out but it, it i usually make it work do you replace all your parts every so often flanges bottles etc yes you have to if you exclusively pump you have to replace them a lot more often than you know just a regular pumping mom would but check with your insurance when you get your pump they should be able to provide uh replacement parts as well do you feed on demand with bottles like lots of people do with nursing so like i said i pump every two three four hours and so i just stick to that schedule and so i have a bottle ready for him whenever he wants to eat so technically i am feeding on demand do you start pumping from day one this time and were you able to pump colostrum yes i actually had a lot of colostrum from the beginning so i was able to free some of that and i didn't pump from day one i actually pumped let's see i went to the hospital i gave birth on sunday so by tuesday i started pumping so leo was like about three days old do you have any tips to keep your baby occupied while using a pump that isn't portable so i actually had to do this with luca i had my first pump was the medela pump in style and so with that one you have to be plugged into the wall so the the times that i would have to wake up in the middle of the night to pump i would just have them on the boppy and just like propped up in the boppy just next to me like on my lap and then i would be pumping and that was just one way to have him close to me as he got older then i would put him on the play mat i would put him on a swing um and just kind of play with him and as you're pumping you figure out how to do things at the same time so how to multitask i've you know folded laundry i've gotten ready i've you know fed the baby i've cooked I, you figure out what how to do things while you're pumping it's just eventually you figure it out so don't stress out if you're still learning how to multitask you'll figure it out what do you think the hardest part of exclusively pumping is waking up in the middle of the night that's honestly really really hard for me to do and i struggle with that i haven't really been on top of that lately so what i've been doing is actually staying up really really late to like 2 3 a.m and just so that i can pump before going to bed but i need to stop doing that because it's catching up with me <laughs> favorite pump at the moment so i love the spectra s1 it's one of my favorite pumps it's amazing i still have the same one that i used with luca so it's lasted me a while it was covered by my insurance i go through aeroflow pumps and what you do is you put in your insurance information and they see if you qualify and if you do then they give you the options to get your pump and so at the time with the insurance policy that i had the spectra s1 was uh, an upgrade so i paid a little bit out of pocket to get that pump and it was worth every single penny it was easy for me to travel and take to work 
and I still use it like I said it's 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 cordless so you don't have to stay plugged into the wall so you can recharge it and all that and I really like the LV I really really like the LV. How long did you exclusively pump with Luca and how long will you exclusively pump with Leo? So with Luca I exclusively pumped for about eight and a half months and with Leo I plan on going as long as I can honestly. I do want to challenge myself to go a little bit longer only because Leo is my last baby so uh we'll, we'll just see what happens though. If I make it I make it if I don't then I don't. What are your thoughts on the Hakka? What is your favorite milk warmer and what is your favorite milk storage bags? So the Hakka or the Hakka, however you say it, um, I actually really like it. It's very well worth it. It's easy to, you know, to just put in your diaper bag if you need to pump really quickly and when you're out and about. And then um, whenever I do latch Leo, I always put it on the opposite side and I'm able to get a really good amount to save for later. So I highly recommend the Hakka. And my favorite milk warmer, Honestly, I don't think I have a favorite one. I just used the same one that I had when I had Luca and that was the Tommy Tippy. It's way too expensive in my opinion, but I like the fact that you're able to use different kinds of, of settings and stuff for it. Favorite milk storage bags. I really like the Lansano ones. I think those are my favorite. Oh, and the Kind or Kindy, however you say it, but I really like those two because they're a little bit more accurate than the other storage bags and they're also just, I feel like they're better quality than the other bags that I have used. But I'm always on the lookout for other bags. So let me know your favorite ones. I don't like the Target ones. I don't like the Medela ones. Did you ever power pump? Yes, I, I, I do do it occasionally. Like if I see that I need to build my supply up, I power pump. And if you don't know what power pumping is, if you pump for 20 minutes, rest for 10, pump for 10, rest for 10 and it pretty much is a full hour of pumping. What that does, it, it makes your body think that your baby is cluster feeding so it makes it create more milk. How many ounces do you get after each pumping session? When you, when have you seen an increase in your supply and how many weeks postpartum were you when you saw that increase in supply? So um, I make about, it depends. So on average in the mornings I will make between like 13 and 17 ounces um, and I want to be careful when I say that because like I said I have an oversupply and I don't want you guys to feel bad if you're not making as much as I am like the amount that you make does not matter as long as you're making enough for your baby like if you're making enough for your baby you're doing great and if you're not and you have to supplement with formula you're still doing great you're still feeding your baby so please don't feel bad for whatever amount I'm I'm giving you guys. So in the morning, that's how much I'll make. And then after that, I will average between, like on a good day, I will average between seven to 10 ounces uh, per pumping session. If I'm having a low day, then I'll make about five. So like today I'm really dehydrated. So I've only been making about five ounces per uh, pumping session, which is fine because Leo will drink about four, four and a half. Oh, and as far as um, noticing an increase, it was honestly uh, like as soon as my milk came in, I, I saw that I was making more than the first few days of me pumping. This isn't a question, but I thought that I should mention this because this is such a good comment. And it says, I exclusively pumped with my middle baby and I was six months pregnant when I finally stopped. I was lucky enough to breastfeed my younger baby and can't imagine exclusively pumping with a toddler. So you go mama. I am grateful, thankful for your honesty about exclusively pumping because a lot of people don't know it's possible to still breastfeed by a pump. Good luck and thank you again. So I wanted to mention this because it's so true. A lot of people don't know that it's still possible to breastfeed with a pump. A lot of people don't take exclusively pumping as breastfeeding. They don't believe that you're breastfeeding and they think you're lazy. And a lot of people have a lot of negative opinions about exclusively pumping, but I'm so glad that a lot of you ha have connected with me through this because I remember feeling so alone and so defeated in the beginning of my exclusively pumping journey because like I said, a lot of people don't count it as that and a lot of people have negative opinions on it and I just want to say thank you guys for helping me feel less alone when it comes to this and I hope that I am able to help you feel less alone and to know that you're it's possible and that you're doing whatever it is that you can and whatever it is that you think is the best for your family and for your baby and for yourself so 
I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more exclusively pumping videos. I have tons of video ideas. Let me know what else you guys want to know, what else you guys want to see, and if you guys want me to do another Q&A video for exclusively pumping, I most definitely will. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here. Make sure you turn on your notification because and, and set them to all because I am just pretty much posting whenever i have the chance right now and that way you'll get notified of whenever i post a video so i will see you guys over in my next video bye guys and I, I really wanna know really wanna know if i let figure out where the road goes even if i'm falling down i will keep on searching for my eyes